we're living in a generation where people believe that um, a man and a woman, a boy and a girl cannot just be friends without something attached. And when you're talking about the things being attached, you're talking about um, romance and sexual activities, right? However, today I want to explain to you, I want to share with you how you can have a great platonic friendship, a great platonic relationship. Where? When we're talking about platonic relationship, we are talking about that type of relationship that you have with somebody of the opposite sex that um, has no element of um, romantic and um, sexual activity. So there's no romance, there's no sexual activity in the friendship. I'm growing up as a teenager, I learned about this concept and we are taught about it in the scripture union. I read from it from um, the Watchtower a week. I read from it from other material, other sources. And I was able to develop the skill from the different lessons that I learned and from relating with people. And so I was able to uh, create around me a, a good network and a good number of female friends that we had nothing attached. And today, I still have some of those friends as part of my circle. I still have, I have new friends today who are, can simply call they are my platonic friends, right? So today I want to share with you the rules of a uh, platonic friendship, how to have um, enjoy a platonic uh, friendship. First, the first thing is for you to change your mindset, renew your mind, be that transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do not think, right, uh, and follow the customs and the traditions of this world. Many people believe that you cannot uh, be a friend with somebody of the opposite sex without something being attached to it. If you have that mindset, if that is your mindset right now, everything I'm going to share will not be profitable to you. It will not make sense to you. You will not be able to take advantage of the truths that I want to share with you. Yes, you. it may be your reality, and that may be the reality of the people around you, that whenever you have friends with somebody, or whenever you choose to make friends with um, somebody of the opposite of uh, somebody of the opposite sex, you always end up in a romantic relationship, in a sexual relationship. If that is your reality, it is not the reality of everyone in the world, okay? Right? Because there are many of us and many people out there who have amazing relationship with people and these relationships are not romantic and these relationships are not sexual. It is this particular friendship that I want you to uh, learn and know the rules of and be able to apply it. Of course, if you have the other side, you definitely will notice right now that you, you truly do not have great and amazing friends and close friends or people who have the opposite sex because you are always ruining it. And you are ruining it with your mindset and your mindset is a setting of your life that determines how every other thing and how um, every um, incident and circumstances plays out for you to you and through you. So when it comes to platonic relationship, the first thing um, I've said is a proper mindset. Number two is general. You already know that you're supposed to have um, the rules of friendship. If you don't know the rules of friendship, go online, buy materials and read on them and know what are the rules of friendship. Then to ensure that your friendship with the opposite sex does not, you know, slide into romance or slide into a sexual relationship, these are the things you should pay attention to. What the number one thing, the first thing I want you to pay attention to is that set the boundaries. Set the boundaries. Setting the boundaries has to start with your mind to know that this person is my friend. I'm not supposed to have a sexual relationship with her. I'm not supposed to have a sexual relationship with him. I do not want to date him. We are not supposed to date. We are not supposed to be touching each other. We are not supposed to be holding hands extensively we are not supposed to be kissing and the rest so you have the mindset right that's the first thing i want to share with you so the mindset again is here and um, which will create that boundaries and so from the mindset the mindset will not create physical boundaries physical boundaries in the sense that um okay we are not supposed to be touching and holding each other for long so yes we can have the handshakes we can um, do the hugs, the big hugs once in a while, but we are not uh, going to be holding each other. We are not going to be touching each other. We are not going to be kissing. From there, you go to the other types of boundaries you want to do. This is not somebody you are just chatting up every time. You don't get to chat them up every time. Uh, and so you, they are not people that you chat up every time you wake up 
and you chat up every time before you sleep, right? There is a simple attention breeds affection. So the more particular attention you give to this person, the more deliberate uh, personal one-to-one -one attention you give to this person, the more your hormones will start playing ten ten, you know, one two three, playing soundtrack and the rest to try to make it romantic and to try to make it um, sexual. So there are not the people you chat up when you wake up. There are not the people you chat up before you sleep and the rest. And when you're talking and relating with them, you relate with them generally, right? So it's, you're talking about work or you're talking about politics or you're talking about other things that you guys have in common, maybe um, the community, the church, um, the school, the uh, volunteer work and the rest that you get to do together. So you may want to do a focus on that. Another thing that um, you may also want to pay attention to is the fact that these people should be many. That's one, that's one uh, big group. They should be like, they should be many, right? It's not just that uh, you are secluding this person from the pack. The moment you seclude um, a person from others, you make this person uh, more unique and more special from others, automatically you may become possessive and that person may become possessive and others may start thinking that there is something special about the two of you. So what you should do in that situation is to have many, many of them as friends. So um, for example, I want to take the Nigeria Bar Association, right? I want to take the Nigeria Bar Association. Uh, into consideration. So I have people that I'm close to there. I have Temi, I have Adiola, I have, um, okay, right now I'm beginning to have Olubumi, I'm beginning to have Precious, I, I, I have uh, my senior friends, Dodoski. So you just have many people around. So it's not like, oh, you keep on looking for this one person, or you are always seated with this one person, or you're always talking, um, talking to and talking with this one person. No, there is a group. They are different people. So today you are just with this, tomorrow you are just with the other. You are talking freely. If I come to the Orise Passion, of course, every person in the Orise Passion becomes more or less my friend. So I'm always chatting with them, I'm always talking with them. When we are in places, we are in community, I don't try to seclude one person. It's the same thing I do in church, I do in my local community. I relate with everybody like, hey, you are my special friend, and at the same time, this other person is also my special friend. That's one thing. Another thing I want you to consider is never to flirt. So don't, don't do the innuendos. Don't flirt with these people. Don't tease them. Don't, um, again, don't try to play um, too safe around them. Too safe around them in the sense that um, you're not flirting, you're teasing, you're um, dressing in some provocative ways, right? You know, said, uh, seductive ways around them and all of that. You, you, you have to avoid that as much as you can so that it does not, it's not because of you or because of them, but because of chemical reactions in our body, right? It is, there are things that are within our control, there are things that are not within our control. You may not know what's their state of mind at that particular time, right, that you are trying to uh, flex with them and the rest. So it is general. You are usually having general discussions with them. You just with them about everything. You are not saying that, oh, uh, there's something uniquely special about the two of us. Is that there's some, what you try to tell them is that there's something uniquely special. There's something unique and special about all of us, right? So those are some of the ways. There are many ways that I would want to tell you about, but then um, you have to join our community, so subscribe to this video, um, part of our Romance Cafe, our Flesh to Flesh, and our other platforms, and be able to get to learn these things every day. But these are just some of the basic things. And now, the last thing, most important thing that I want to share with you is that do um, be very careful about the people's values. Whatsoever people you are keeping as friends around you, what is their mindset? What is their sexual values? What are their romantic values? Do they respect your boundaries? Do they respect you? Do they believe that premarital sex is wrong? Do they believe that extramarital sex is wrong? Do they believe that um, emotional affairs are wrong? Right? Extra emotional affairs are wrong. Do they have this belief system? Their value system would, um, is the most important thing at the end of the day. Thank you so much for following Tina. Remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell. 
so that you get to know when we post amazing videos and not just that if you contact us through any of the means in the description section i will be the person that we attend to it thank you so much you rock